Evening, everyone. It's uh, around six o'clock, and this is your closing comment. And uh, it was kind of an interesting day. I'm sure everybody saw we were up 470 in the Dow, and uh, the NASDAQ, which was down most of the day, actually made it back to the green and is closed up 94.84, or eight tenths of a percent. The S&P was up just under 42 for 1.16. But the two big winners were uh, the Russell up 41. 29, 2.37%. And uh, the transports up 308.70, up 2.55%. So uh, that was kind of unusual. Okay, uh, before I forget, there are a lot of uh, economic numbers coming tomorrow import, export prices, um, business inventories, capital utilization, uh, industrial production, and retail sales. So, uh, who knows? Okay, so uh, Tesla, after the close, announced going into the S&P 500. Stock immediately turned up and was trading up $45 last I noticed. Um, I'm a little bit uh, confused here. Uh, we had this great news from Moderna this morning, and uh, the stock, in fact, closed up ninety-seven ninety-five or eight dollars and fifty-six cents. Uh, that was actually lower than it opened. Uh, it opened at a hundred point twenty-eight and traded up as high as a hundred and three twenty, but closed under a hundred. Uh, my surprise is that uh, the rest of them turned down. Uh, Pfizer, 37.36, down a dollar twenty-six or 3.3%. Not overwhelming, but to put that in perspective, um, the stock closed a week ago, Friday, at 36.40. And on the news on Monday morning, it got as high as 41.99. And now it's come almost all the way back. Uh, you know, it's up just under a dollar on the week to week numbers. And I'm a little surprised because I didn't realize that uh, what was bullish for Moderna, which moved up on the Pfizer news, is bad for Pfizer. Also, CODX, another one of the testing companies, 1359, down a dollar 39. Um, and Pfizer's uh, partner, BNTX, Biotenix. 91.52 down $14.48. So uh, again, as I said, I'm a little bit surprised. Uh, in other news, uh, Home Depot is buying HD Supply, very similar name. Uh, and in fact, Home Depot sold off HD Supply 11 years ago. Um, it looks like, I don't know whether it's um, apples to apples, uh, but it looks like they got about $3 billion more for it than they're paying to get it back. Uh, Smile Direct had earnings, or rather losses, um, but revenues were up and the loss declined, So, uh, and they gave some good guidance. Uh, it didn't really help a whole lot. Um, on the headline news, it got up to 1150 currently trading 960 up 17 cents so certainly not setting the world on fire there and i'm just going to go with all of them uh in the electric vehicle i saw a new one today uh green motors uh, GP, which used to be the symbol for Georgia Pacific, 17 up 440. And uh, obviously the Tesla, but all of those little ones, uh, RIDE, which is um, Lordstown, uh, 22 up four and change. I mean, the whole group um, was down early, including, you know, NEO and Solo and the rest, and they all came roaring back. I don't know whether that's good or bad. Feels more like a speculative bubble to me than it does um, a move for the group. Okay, this is a change. The chart on the screen is a stock. Uh, 
it's Snapchat. And it looks to me like, uh, and by the way, we're already short it. Um, it looks to me as if uh, we're about to get a fairly substantial break. I'm going to zoom this out a little bit more and show you. Um, we got short in here. And in point of fact, we made over 100% on the first half of the trade and the second half of the trade expired worthless. So on a cash flow basis, we were even on those two trades, but I hate to give it back regardless. But here's what's going on now. Right now we're in the 39 puts that expire on Friday. In here we were in the 37s, but they had a little more time at that point. Um, in any event, uh, the stock burst to the upside, getting as high as uh, 45.60, and closing that day almost exactly on the high, followed by a down open and pretty much a collapse. I mean, you know, it's hard to look at a chart that's pretty much sideways and then straight up and look for a break. But uh, we did close down that day. Uh, we were up 383 that day. We were down 428 the next day. Um, we came back in and have been... Uh, riding this 20-day MA until now. The five-day has crossed it, and the stock, after trying to make it to the upside, only managed 41.31, and then closed pretty close to the low of the day, 39.08, which is about where it opened this morning, but uh, the fact of the matter is uh, it was down a dollar and change, and uh, it looks like it's going to roll over. This is very often called a bear flag. Um, I showed you a couple of those this morning in um, the gold and silver, which actually did well. But in any event, I'm thinking that we can get down somewhere in this 35 and a half area. Could be worse. Might not be as good, but I'm just saying, um, you know, ideally I would expect on a longer term basis to do something about this gap uh, because this is, this was really something. I mean, 27.91 to 44.18 in three days. Um, so uh, I'm thinking, you know, we could easily see 35 and that would be a great trade um, for uh, those puts. I think we're in them at 64 to 66 cents, and they closed 97 today. So here's the uh, gold, which was down pretty hard this morning. And overnight, it was 1861 on the low, and that was very scary. Um, but uh, it came back up and traded on the high here, uh, 1898 and closed 1887 so only up about a dollar and change but uh, you know after being down 20 bucks uh, that's a particularly pleasant reversal um the same thing in the silver the silver was up on a percentage basis a little bit more um, you know again nothing overwhelming but after being down hard uh and this is tonight already so being down here not as bad as the gold because it has been holding this um, 100 day MA. So uh, we really need to get through today's high, which was 2515, um, you know, to reestablish us moving towards that 26. And the debacle of the day for us, and I have no idea what this is about, I have never seen a move like this in natural gas. Uh, down 10% at the low, and uh, right now down just a, cu a couple of cents, a penny at 285.40. Um, no clue what the news was here. The entire rest of um, the uh, energy complex was all higher, all of it every single one i think even including ethanol oh no the ethanol was down a little in any event um these are now today's tonight's uh, prices uh bitcoin again a monster made a new high or 
recovery high, uh, 16,935, and then closed 16,895. And the bonds are down a little, and they did very little of anything today. All right, everyone, uh, I'll be back first. Oh, one more thing. Uh, we are long the symbol J-O, which is the ETF for coffee. And I've been talking about it the last couple of days. And sure enough, we had the breakout today. Pretty impressive move, uh, up almost $7, 655 to the upside above all of the moving averages again. Uh, and, you know, we've been talking about this for a while. Actually, I think I got into J.O. at about 36.60 in here uh, today on this move up. I think it closed uh, 34.90 or so uh, and up about uh, $2. All right, everyone, I'll let you go. I'll be back first thing in the morning with a pre-opening call and some of those uh, many economic numbers that come out in the morning.